Hi everyone, Cam here with Situate TV. We're outside the craft fair at Situate High School with over 100 artists inside. And even better, this event benefits Shore. And if you didn't know about Shore, Shore offers grants to Situate High School educators and teachers. Right now I'm going to take you inside to introduce you to some of these artists. I'm Laurie Fulton and my business is a few of my favorite things. What type of products do you make? Sun catchers and a little bit of unique jewelry. Something I try to make something for everyone. My name is Amanda Toland. My business name is AP Visual Design. I make a lot of different sea glass products. I make um, resin and cutting boards and ornaments. Kind of a little bit of everything. Uh, my business name is Burl Doctor. I'm Spencer Borden. I'm a MD. Retired. What type of products do you make? I make turned wooden bowls, homemade bowls. Uh, how do you go about making these uh, bowls? You can find the wood and then cut it up and rough turn it. I turn a bowl that's about an inch thick and put it aside for a couple of months, let it dry out, then put it back on the lathe and fi finish turn it and sand it. The sanding takes three times the amount of time as the cutting. Uh, my name is Caitlin. My business is Norse Dance Party. I sell uh, handmade stuffed animals. So I buy the pattern. These patterns are all made by someone who goes by Sue Desune. And then I uh, buy the patterns and I just make little dragons and I mix them up like uh, these little foxes with uh, hoodies and little knights. But uh, all hand so handmade uh, sewing machine, uh, machine embroidery. Hi, I'm Christine and we're from All Rethrown Crafts. So we're selling um, handmade afghans, ornaments, magnets, um, ornament wreaths, and we also have some photography from the South Shore area. Cece Franklin, and actually I don't really have a business name. <laughs> what kind of products do you sell? Um, jewelry, earrings, bracelets, necklaces, all with gemstones, and mostly sterling silver that I make myself. I am drawn to things that come from nature. Gemstones in particular I think are just beautiful and so I love working with them, the different colors and textures and making them into wearable art. Uh, it, my business is Como Custom Wood and it's Rick Como. I do wood flags and um, various signs. I'm doing nautical signs. We live in Marshfield right near the water so we making things like that. My name is Charlotte Robichaud and my business name is Charlotte's Crafts. I sell all kinds of custom home goods. I have custom made tumblers. I also have wood signs, holiday ornaments, keychains. You name it and I'll customize it. My name is Lisa Lundeen and my business name is Angel Bug Studio. I sell anywhere from silk scarves to magnets, barrettes, bookmarks, a little bit of everything for you know, women, it's kids. My name is Isabel Burton, but my the business is Time and Tide Clayworks, and my mom, Laura Burton, does all the pottery. We sell ceramics, so it's all food and dishwasher safe, and anything from bowls, ornaments, um, mantle decorations. Um, I help her with the business side, but she does all the art by herself in our basement. She has her studio at our house. Uh, my name is Christina Roscoe, and the business name is Clean Slate by Tina. And my husband takes um, all the photographs, local landscapes, and I put it on. Um, I put the photographs on various, you know, substrates. It's all done in a heat press. What is the inspiration behind this work? I, I just loved his photographs and really wanted to do something different with them, other than frames and stuff like that. My name is Linda Whitehouse and the business name is Connect the Dot Shop. What kind of products do you sell? All hand painted glassware. How did you get into this type of work? Um, left my full time job, tried to decide what I wanted to do differently after that and just decided to start this hobby as it began and now I'm doing it full time. I am Steve Pelletier and we are Custom Mosaic Designs. We sell handmade mosaic art, coasters, ornaments, um, also map art, um, map coasters, ornaments, and a variety of other things. Well, I'm actually a tile man by day, so uh, I've installed a lot of mosaic murals over the years, and basically 
felt like you know that was something good creative outlet for me to get into and uh, kind of developed into uh, our own business here. Uh, my name's Joan Bjornsson. Our business name is uh, uh, Sweet Illusions and it's a division of the Ultimate Sweet Tooth where I started making fudge. Now we do ear candy, arm candy, eye candy, but no calorie candy for ladies. It works. My inspiration for doing... Oh, I've always worked with my hands and uh, the teenage girls, for instance, have no idea how pretty they are. So I tell them, if you notice the earrings, you notice the smile, right? So I say, be sure and smile. And most teenage girls are gorgeous. They have no idea. And other ladies too, if someone just said, hey, you've got beautiful hair, beautiful eyes, and this is to enhance. And of course, Christmas coming up, the idea was to make something fun for Christmas. So my name is Morgan Cohane, and this is Maker's Club Craft Kits. And what we do is we make craft kits for all ages and it comes with all the supplies they need so they can make the craft. And then we make a how-to video that they get access to. So the back of the craft kit has a link and a password so they can go watch the video and do the craft with whoever they're crafting with. Awesome, what's your inspiration behind this work? Well, I used to be a teacher, so I loved working with kids and I loved being creative. So now that I'm home with my daughter, I was like, this is awesome. I'll just start making craft kits. So it's really taking off and people seem to love it. Adriana Todkis with Buddha Belly Farms. What kind of products do you sell here? Uh, all natural soy candles and crystals. How'd you get into this type of work? Um, I started making candles just for fun and I made a bunch of them for my wedding and they kind of hit off and I just enjoy doing it. So with soy, it's a lot cleaner. Um, there's no chemicals in there, so it's clean burning. Um, all the scents that I use are pathlate free, so they're um, really beneficial for health and um, it's a lot cleaner than any type of um, uh, paraffin wax. My name is Erica Otero Vargas and my business is Lady Ella Studios. We make handcrafted crocheted items for children, adults, and the home. How'd you get into this type of work? Uh, my grandmother taught me how to crochet when I was 12 and I've been going strong ever since. So hi, I'm Kim Spires and I'm with Situate Girls Golf. Um, this is our inaugural year. We've been a club for the last two years at Situate High School and in the spring we are now going to be a varsity sport. So we look forward to all the girls coming out and having fun with us and we're here today at the craft fair to raise money for our sport. Uh, I'm Clay Belmarsh and I'm with uh, Situate Basketball. I'm Jimmy Tolton. I'm also a Situate Basketball. Uh, we got hats, uh, bracelets, magnets, and uh, water bottles, and then there's stuff on the website here too. Pretty, we've had success in the past with like selling merchandise, and all the money goes towards bettering the program and concessions and all that. Situate Girls Golf is not funded by Situate High School, and the girls are raising all the funds on their own to um, support the team from the buses, the coaches, all the fun uh, uniforms, everything that we're raising here is to pay for the team. So we appreciate everybody coming out and coming to the fair and supporting girls golf. Uh, my name is Lindsay Cambridge and this is Herb's Harvest Company. What kind of products do you sell here? Um, so I sell all locally made jams, jellies, and preserves, all with New England sourced ingredients. How'd you get into this type of work? Uh, it's a COVID baby, born from the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, local business is huge and I think people are realizing now more than ever with the pandemic how important it is to support people that have skills and unique products to, to sell um, versus, you know, shopping at a big box grocery store or, you know, um, just wholesale like a Target or a Walmart. So local products are definitely important for the local economy. 